In this lesson, I'll show you how to integrate improper rational fractions. Let's start by discussing why this function is improper to begin with. The reason why it's improper is because the numerator is of higher degree than the denominator. Take a look at the numerator. We have x to the power of 3, and that in itself has a bigger power than x plus 1. To integrate such a function, we need to rely on unconventional means to figure this one out. We don't have any rules that will enable us to integrate this easily. So what we can do in this situation is see if we can divide these two expressions. And we can use long division to do that. Here's what I mean. Our denominator will become the divisor. And our numerator, x to the power of 3 minus 2x to the power of 2 minus 5x minus 2 will become the dividend. The quotient, on the other hand, will be what we will end up integrating. So how do we do long division for these two polynomials? Here's how. You divide x to the power of 3 with x. x to the power of 3 divided by x gives us x to the power of 2. And to do that, I use the quotient rule for the laws of exponents. x to the power of 2 times x gives us x to the power of 3. And x to the power of 2 times 1 gives us plus x squared. Now I'll subtract this binomial with this binomial. This gives us 0, this term with this term. Negative 2x squared minus x to the power of 2 gives us negative 3x squared. Next step is to drop this term down, minus 5x, and divide negative 3x squared with x. Negative 3x squared divided by x gives us negative 3x. Multiplying this term to these two, negative 3x times 3 is negative 3x squared. Negative 3x times positive 1 gives us negative 3x. Subtracting these, negative 3 minus minus 3 gives us 0. And negative 5 minus minus 3 gives us negative 2x. Lastly, I'll drop this negative 2 over here. Divide negative 2x with x. That gives us negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times positive 1 is negative 2. Subtracting this term with this term gives us 0. And subtracting negative 2 with plus 2 gives us 0 as well. We have a remainder of 0. This will serve as our quotient. Now all I have to do is integrate x to the power of 2 minus 3x minus 2 dx. There should be a dx here. Integrating this is easy. I'll start with this first term. x to the power of 2 becomes x to the power of 3 over 3. This term becomes negative 3x squared over 2. And this term becomes negative 2 with an arbitrary value c at the very end. This represents the integral of the following function.